All right, David Barger, uh, 2013 Hall of Fame inductee. Uh, what's that mean to you after a uh, multiple decade career here at the university to go into the Hall of Fame? Well, the Hall of Fame is certainly a great recognition and it reflects the legacy of Carson Newman Athletics. But, it, but me personally, it, it pales in comparison to the excitement that I've seen uh, in my family's eyes and uh, once the announcement was made, uh, without family and the support and the love and encouragement of the family, uh, none of this would be possible. And so uh, as family is important to us in our Christian lifestyle, uh, the Carson Newman family is important too. And to be included uh, in the Carson Newman family of those who have paved the way to uh, set the great Carson Newman tradition in athletics, certainly a special day for us. Is there any added meaning to this because you helped start the thing? Well, it wasn't started because I was hoping one day that I would be a member <laughs> yeah. of the Hall of Fame. Uh, not at all. It, it's something that uh, needed to be done to perpetuate the great legacy of Carson Newman Athletics, and, and so it is. Is there a memory that sticks out to you? I mean, from all your years here? My greatest Hall of Fame memory would have to be uh, two or three years after the Hall was organized. Uh, once candidates uh, are elected to the Hall of Fame, then members of the executive committee or uh, at that time as AD, I would go and notify the inductees. Uh, one of the uh, elected inductees was Bill Catlett. Uh, he ran the hardware store in downtown Jefferson City. Uh, rather than pick up the phone and call him, I thought, well, just get your lazy bones in the car and go down there and tell him he's been elected to the Hall of Fame, and so that's what I did. At the old Shipe and Catlett hardware, they had over in the corner a big potbelly stove and some old theater seats and a lot of his cronies and uh, retirees in Jefferson City would come in every morning for their coffee and sit around and visit. And so I went down to uh, notify Bill that he had been elected to the Hall of Fame. And so I did and called the attention uh, of all those guys in the corner, brought him over away from customers and announced that he had been elected to the Hall of Fame. And it was such an exciting time for him, and he was tickled to death. And uh, there in front of his friends, and they were all celebrating the occasion. The formal induction of the Hall of Fame came up three or four months later. From the time I visited with Bill uh, and to the time of the induction, uh, we lost Bill tragically to a heart attack. And so his wife, Lady Kate, accepted on his behalf. And I've often thought that really that was Bill's day in the sunshine. That was his induction. That was his time to celebrate in front of his friends, his election to the Hall of Fame. And that's what it, uh, that's a special memory and it's special to me today because I got to celebrate the occasion in front of my family and my friends.